our very own Guillaume. How are you? Yes, all right, all right. It's been a busy day. It has. So uh, take us through these last few hours for you. So this is the consequence, uh, breaking news or whatever you want to call it, is the consequence of a lot of phone calls and a lot of conversations and a lot of WhatsApp uh, messages, most of them unanswered, <laughs> but some of them answered. And there were enough clues at the end. Um, and obviously you, you can never reveal your sources, but, uh, but it was pretty clear that was going to happen. Not just that, I think in the next few hours, you'll, uh, you'll hear from Messi himself uh, telling the story of why, uh, having tried to uh, make it happen for Barcelona, for instance, in different ways, and we can talk about that, uh, despite a massive offer from Saudi Arabia, he's decided to go to Inter Miami. Uh, it is uh, not only his decision, but his family's decision, but we'll leave him to give us more details later. Yeah, I'm so curious to know the details on everything that's going on, and, and hopefully with the Messi announcement soon, well, no. Guillaume, I, I want you to take us back through the step-by-step -step because only a couple days ago, this wasn't this much of a reality. The Saudi offer was always there, but it feels like Jorge Messi and Joan Laporta were really trying to figure out a Barcelona deal that now, in retrospect, looks unfeasible and viable, that they couldn't get it done and give Messi any promises because it just feels like Messi wanted Barcelona at the end of the day. I'll take you back, say, six months ago, when it became clear that uh, despite the fact that PSG and uh, Leo Messi had reached an agreement in principle uh, that was uh, shaking hands uh, for uh, in, in Qatar between Luis Campos and Jorge Messi, little by little it became clear that PSG would not be the destination, partly because the sporting project wasn't interesting enough. What, of course, PSG have to do now is reduce the wage list uh, because financial fair play forces them to do so. And, and then the whistles and then the stories that started appearing in the press suggested that uh, perhaps he wasn't going to continue. Once that became clear, into Miami and Saudi Arabia, of course, knocked the door. And what uh, the response I had first to the uh, alpha from into Miami was that it was too complex. That's the message that was sent to Inter Miami from the Messi camp. Too complex. There's just too many things moving. Uh, and that is because uh, we are hearing, and I said, unconfirmed stories, but that perhaps he will get um, part, will con the club, or maybe will have a franchise in the future. Certainly one thing that's guaranteed is that uh, Apple and Adidas and other big brands will be part of the deal. And we'll hear in the next few hours how that will work. Anyway, it was all too complex. And of course, for Saudi Arabia, it was $400 million cash. Uh, there was no, no <laughs> complication there. After that, uh, then Barcelona tried. You're right, they tried. But I will tell you that by the point that Jorge Messi and Laporta met in Laporta's house, despite the, the words from Jorge Messi, who felt a little bit attacked and, um, and, 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 and followed, certainly, by, by journalists, he had to say what everybody wanted to hear in a way. He wasn't going to discuss the situation at that point. And he did say, Messi wants to come back to Barcelona. That was true. And when asked how would that happen or would that happen, he would say, I don't know. Because at that point, in that 20-25 minute conversation between uh, Messi and Jorge Messi and Laporta, it became very clear that Barcelona could not afford Leo Messi. They did not have the guarantees, better said. They did not have the guarantees that will make sure that Messi will be registered at the end of, uh, of the market. Uh, and, and with that in hand, you cannot deal with anything. You're talking about the best player in the world. So Jorge Messi... Uh, who started the conversation with Laporta in positive terms, what is it that we can do, finished it, both of them, pessimistic. It's not going to happen or it's difficult for it to happen, isn't it? And that's why Jorge Messi went. In the evening that same day, I can't remember when it was, three days ago, uh, Jorge Messi comes out of a restaurant and feeling a little bit, I don't know, guilty because of the news that had uh, come out of his conversation with the media after that meeting with Laporta, just came out with the truth, which was, Look, the conditions are not there for this to happen. It's, it's difficult to happen, not to say impossible. I had reported for a while that it was impossible because uh, following conversations with La Liga, it became clear that uh, the uh, situation of Barcelona was worse than in the last market. Worse. So in two years, Barcelona have not improved the financial situation. They're still in a difficult place. They could not get messy. And then after that, yes, uh, depending on the day, you were hearing things, but I spoken to Saudi Arabia. And I was told it's definitely happening. Into Miami is definitely happening. 
today I got the right information and uh, and I went for it and and yeah he's on his way to the MLS. Look at you. Nice. We're happy. Guillaume, uh, another question about Barcelona's financials because they're very complicated and, and you're very close to it. Let's say in a hypothetical scenario that Inter Miami doesn't make playoffs and, and Messi is uh, without competitive football for a, a significant amount of months. We've seen Beckham make a loan move. We've seen Thierry Henry make a loan move back to Europe. Does that facilitate Barcelona possibly registering Messi if he comes to Barcelona off of a loan move? Look, it's the first time I think about this, so I haven't had time to reflect on it. But if they cannot do it now, how do you want them to do it? I mean, you're talking when? In, yeah, in October, October, September. halfway through the season. So, you know, it's not going to happen because obviously the market is closer. But yes, uh, if he's, I don't know, if there is a way for him to actually make it to an European team at that point. But in any case, Barcelona are going to use every single penny they've got to try to fit in not only the guys that have, have got a contract that hasn't been registered yet, like Gabi and Araujo and, and Peña and Marcos Alonso, etc., but to try to get players that improve the side, like Gundagan. Mm -hmm. So by the time that Messi will be available, there won't be any space for him. And Messi would have played for free. It's illegal. It cannot be done. <laughs> but uh, La Liga said, perhaps you, put, you could put in your accounts 25 million euros. This is what the wages, logical wages for somebody like Messi in the low ranks. So that's La Liga trying to help Barcelona. But even so, at that point, there is nothing to be negotiated. There's nothing to work on. There's no space for it. There is no the possibility of bringing anybody else. Because as I said, Barcelona, who had a rule up till now of one to one, so you bring one euro, you spend one euro. Now they've gone to 40 percent of what they can uh, of what they save from players and wages they can use only 40%. So it's becoming even harder for Barcelona to get some of the players that we're talking about. So I just don't see it. And also, this is very, very important. The situation of Leo Messi uh, in the first few months in Paris can be described as traumatic. He really, <laughs> really struggled. Really struggled. Uh, he was living in a hotel. Yeah. His kids were, I saw them running around. Uh, just basically, he wasn't happy. Uh, one hour to training with a lot of traffic. Wasn't happy. Got injured. Got COVID. Bad COVID with an infle in, uh, infection of his uh, of his lungs. Really bad time. Doesn't want to go through that. He just wants the uh, possibility of being in one place, everybody enjoying the process, and being in Miami for a while. We don't know how long yet. That will be also news that should come out at some point. Perhaps one messy talk. Yeah, we're really excited to find this news. And I'm obviously really intrigued to find out the financial details of this move. Um, I love watching journalists. Uh, they, to me, are like artists. And watching you is watching a world-class artist do his best work. Your tweet uh, of Messi has decided his destination into Miami has been seen by almost 11 million people now. And I can't even begin to imagine, Guillaume, what it has been like for you personally. Um, has there ever been a time in your uh, tremendous career that you have seen this type of interaction so many questions being asked into your direction and i can't even begin to imagine some of the messages that you have received since you put this out there <laughs> um it, you cannot compare it i broke the news of cristiano ronaldo going to real madrid six months before he actually made it and i got Dallas ferguson saying in press conferences he's lying he doesn't know what he's saying <laughs> and for six months having to deal with that of course it was a different time uh, and since then, yeah, I broke all the news, but but this has got a huge magnitude. I think I've I've got about 500 odd uh, WhatsApp messages. I've answered only two from CBS and from the BBC, who I work with as well. And I haven't rang back. I haven't um, continued, followed up the story, not even on, on social media. Uh, I have to instead break the news that the, the documentary we're working on, CBS, that's going to come out in Paramount Plus, that came out yesterday as well. That will be my next tweet. <laughs> that uh, that is all all that docu series is coming out uh, about uh, you know the following me in the champions league etc because uh, i am gathering now information to be, to be put the whole picture i've done the news i am more interested in a way to actually tell the story of what's behind it why has he decided to go there I'm looking forward to listening to leo later on today and uh, and then just put it all together in in blogs and in conversations like this